The topic of today's discussion is the study of magneto resistance of a given semiconductor, germanium, which is an n-type semiconductor. So these are the contents of this presentation. Introduction. So magneto resistance is a phenomena in which the electrical resistivity of a material changes in the presence of an external magnetic field. In 1856, William Thomson, also popularly known as Lord Kelvin, first discovered the ordinary magnetic resistance, and Albert Pert and Peter Gunzberg were jointly awarded the Nobel Prize for the discovery of giant magnetic resistance in 2007. So theory. So the formula of magnetic resistance is M equal to R H minus R naught divided by R naught equal to del R by R naught. Where R H is the resistance of the sample when the magnetic field is applied, and R naught is resistance of the sample when no magnetic field is applied. And mathematically, the transverse magnetic resistance R H minus R naught divided by R naught is proportional to B square. Now let's see the physics of magnetic resistance. Now, in the absence of magnetic field, electron can go in a straight line. So this is just a zigzag fashion. But in the presence of magnetic field, electron will feel a force, and due to this, it will move in a spiral path. And due to this, the path length will increase. And as a result, it will suffer more scattering than the previous case. So. The path length increase and the magnetic resistance is also increases. So these are the experimental setup: the four proof arrangement, electromagnet, magnetic resistance setup, sample, which is germanium n type, constant current power supply, and digital Gauss meter. So four proof arrangement. So this is the picture of four proof. This is the one, two, three, four. Four proofs is there, and they are separated by two millimeter distance. So they are used for the accurate measurement of resistivity, and this minimizes the contact and the spreading resistance. Consists of four collinear, equally spaced two millimeter, and individually spring-loaded probe. Two outer probe. So these two are outer probe. Okay, these two are outer probe. So two outer probes for supplying the constant current source, and two inner probe for measuring the Voltage developed across the probes. So these are the two inner probes that measure the voltage difference. Electromagnet. So this is the picture of an electromagnet. So an electromagnet is a type of magnet in which the magnetic field is produced by an electric current. Electromagnet is usually consists of wire wound into a coil. So this is the electromagnet. And coil is owned in these two blocks, and as a result, magnetic field is produced here. Okay, so magnetic field can be quickly changed by controlling the amount of electric current in the winding. So if you increase the electric current, then magnetic field is also increases. Digital Gauss meter. So this is the picture of digital Gauss meter, and. It is a device that measures magnetic field or magnetic dipole moment, direction, and strength of the magnetic field. Gauss sensor is basically a Hall probe, and digital Gauss meter operates on the principle of Hall effect in semiconductor. So this is the overall picture of the magnetic resistance setup. Experimental procedure. So this is the block diagram for IH calibration curve. So this is the north pole of the magnet, and this is the south pole. And constant current power supply is here, and this is your Gauss meter. So you have to first calibrate the Gauss meter. So you just increase the current and measure the magnetic field. So here current is increases, and magnetic field is also increases. And current versus magnetic field graph is shown here. So this is known as calibration curve. And this is the block diagram. For the magnetic resistance experiment, so this is the constant current power supply, and this is the magnetic resistance setup. So these are the experimental data. Constant probe current we have taken I naught equal to 1.73 milliampere. Voltage across the sample without field P naught equal to 144.6 millivolt. 
and the resistance when no magnetic field is present R0 equal to VI by V0 by I0 equal to 83.6 ohm. So this is the overall table for the determination of the magnetic resistance. So this is the current. Current is continuously increasing and as a result magnetic field is also increases. Now uh, voltage of the probe is measured and uh, Rm that is this is the resistance in presence of magnetic, magnetic field. So these are also calculated. And then we have calculated the magnetic resistance, which is del R by R0. And then we have taken log of H and log of M. Now the graph is shown between log of H and log of M. And the graph is like this. So conclusion, resistance of the semiconductor, which is germanium and type, increases as the magnetic field is increases which is the consequence of the theory of magnetic resistance. So from the graph we can conclude that the variation of del R by R0 with respect to the magnetic field is parabolic and del R by R0 is proportional to H for low magnetic field. So sources of error, the current applied to the electromagnet from the constant current power supply should not be too high otherwise it will damage the electromagnet. Next, the probe current should be kept constant throughout the experiment and the probe should be placed at the center of the two poles of the electromagnet. Otherwise, it will lead to an error. So, these are the references. Thank you.